Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how difficult it is for MTG Finance. I'm going to take a look at a few cards that have dropped a ton in price since they have come out. And as a collector, there was a time these cards were, they were the pinnacle of investment. So if you could get your hands on them, they would trade easy, they would steadily go up in price. That time has passed. So one of the cards that, one of the card types that used to be very valuable were the judge promos. There were not that many of them. And out of all the judge promos, a large majority would go to the stores, the vendors. So a judge would receive their p promo packet, take it to the vendor at the GP or large event, uh, sell them, and that's how they would get a little bit of cash. These used to be just so iconic and you still have some which are very expensive like Survival of the Fittest. That one's beautiful. To, the thing that made them kind of different was the artwork. Uh, it was always assumed that the artwork would be reserved for the judge promo. That's no longer true. Survival of the fit, Fittest is interesting and it's the exception and that's why it's going up in price because it's on a reserve list. So it's not like they can just reprint that card. So therefore the artwork can also not be reprinted. Now for every single other card, yeah, not on a reserve list, not your judge promo, not on a reserve list, you are gonna get hit hard. Uh, the next one is the Pro Tour promos, the older ones. These were viewed one time as kind of collector's items that would always go up in price. Now they're not, um, I mean, dragons and i remember a time where dragons and angels regardless of what they were would be valuable and people would trade for them now everyone is mtg finance savvy they have smartphones and everything is based on price before prices became such a big part of our game people just based on how cool the card was and therefore demons dragons and angels carried a much higher premium than perhaps their playability I look at this card, it is beautiful, it is old, it is unique, it's from a Pro Tour, it's not that bad, and it's got plane cycling, so it's not that bad. Yet, it is $10. Um, this card has been around for some time, and it's always been on the decline because it's not playable. It's also apparently not collectible. So imagine this, like, I've been playing Magic for a long time. Dragons have always been very collectible. Promos have always been collectible. And the older the card, the more collectible the card is. This is de the definition of a card that should, is identified as a collector's item. Not many of them printed a long time ago. Very unique. Foil. The market has shifted so drastically. Uh, so, like, it's so different from what it used to be. This Avacyn, for instance, started at, at about 100 and then just steadily declined. It is the Judge promo Avacyn with new art. Avacyn was recently printed in Iconic Masters, but not with this artwork, with the original artwork from Avacyn Restored. I just find it fascinating that a foil with different artwork is less money than, well, I don't know. What's the iconic massive foil? Is it like $40 too? This card has every indication that this should be a valuable card, far more than $40 and slipping because it has, it has different artwork. It's a hard to get promo. It's a foil, but it's just been slipping and you can kind of see the decline in price. So I think our game is very healthy and I think these, Prices are very good for our game, but it's a lot different from what it was 10 years ago where you could pick any any card and it would go up. You could pick any fetch line and it would go up. You could pick any random modern playable card, it would just slowly take up. Today, the reprints have really hurt cards, but not just the cards like Alverson. They've hurt cards with different artwork that should be collector's items or in the past have held price due to collectability. Here, 
Yeah, and a very good example of this is the Niz Mizzet. I remember this being a $200 card and it is now $57. As better cards come out, it's not that Niz Mizzet got weaker. It's just that better blue-red commanders came out that were more exciting. This is the Champs promo, one of the more difficult promos to get. Full art, foil, gorgeous, right? On the decline. So from a collectability aspect, unless it's on the reserve list, I think it's just going to go down in price. I did look at Mutavolt. So Mutavolt has a very expensive Champs promo that's $250 right now. That's remained kind of steady. But I think it's because the supply is so low that the people who own it are own it in a playset. Um, as opposed to Niz Mizzet, you probably don't need a playset of him. And... His popularity as an EDH commander is not doing well. So these premium, premier, highly collectible, very, very old and rare cards are not going up in price. Uh, that tells me all I need to know about whether or not I should, where I should put money in. You got to put money on bulk, uh, bulk cards, hopefully reserve list bulk, the best type of bulk. And reserve list cards, and that's it. Um, people are telling you to buy boxes and spec on this. and They reprinted Hazret, Hazret and Chandra, the two most exp the most expensive card in Chandra set and the most expensive card in uh, the Amaket set. So the Kaladas and Amaket. And the same Challenger deck at Walmart. Okay, another example of beautiful artwork is Exalted Angel. Uh, even this artwork couldn't save it. I mean, I look at this artwork and I say, wow, that's gorgeous. It is old. It is beautiful looking. Um, it is the definition of a collectible, very rare item that I would collect. I just don't collect these stuff anymore. I don't, I'm moving away from hoarding and I'm giving up because there's no point. Um, it used to be if you hoarded, a card goes up, maybe you do fine. Here, anything not on the reserve list is going to be reprinted with the same artwork. Anything, and they, they might use the artwork. It used to be kind of an unknown role where if it's a promo artwork or the card is very expensive with a different artwork, they would not reuse that artwork, like Aether Vial, for instance. Well, Aether Vial's artwork for the relics was used recently in Iconic Masters. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much I can say except there's no, if it was 10 years ago and you look at something as beautiful and aged well as this card, you would never imagine it would be trending down. But that's where we are in the game. It is definitely a player's game. And if you accept this uh, concept, if you accept this, um, then you will be fine. Alice Norm, a $750 card at one time, started at $500, went up to $750, and now it just plummeted into oblivion. So Alice Norm also got a reprint. You kind of see a pattern going on, right? I think it's fascinating. Uh, this is some something that like we have to study. I mean, this card went from $750 to $500 to $250. It, within months uh it collapses in price you see a lot of this in modern you see a lot of this in standard on the re reserve list side you see the exact opposite when it goes from 250 or two dollars and fifty cents to five dollars and then five dollars to 750. they do that all day all the time so the magic finance has changed so much like it's so different from we're not playing the same game anymore. Uh, that's the easiest, that's the best way I can say it. We are not playing the same game anymore. And because the game has changed slightly, there's, you know, collectability is not as important. Artwork is not as important. It's all about is the card on the reserve list? If the answer is no, then it's just a matter of time before it goes down in price. Even if it is a promo, even if it does have beautiful artwork, or in this case, uh, Alice Norm has a Phyrexian writing, even if it's unique and meant to be a limited collectible item, 
it can't hold price. Uh, Rashawn Port, this Judge promo started at 400, then when looks like it kind of was a 200 for a bit, and now it's 139 and dropping. It just, man, I, I mean, one of the things that I, I learned when I first started trading Magic heavily was always trade for those Judge promos. Because they're liquid, they're easy, and they're kind of they're very stable. They don't have these giant price plummets. If anything, they go up in price because people want them. But in the last few years, we printed them all. Wasteland was a judge promo. This one, Rashawn Port, was a judge promo. I I look at it and nothing can survive. Literally, no card not on the reserve list can survive a reprint. Because they will use the same artwork. So the artwork is not relevant anymore. Because they just reuse the artwork. For a master set. Like you look at Judge or Zusa. If you gave her the old artwork. You kept the new one to the Judge promo only. I guarantee you she would be twice as valuable. Because that artwork is very good. But now there has been established. That artwork is not sacred. To a promotional card anymore. It would just be reused as often as uh, necessary to uh, sell packs. Now, it might sound I'm a little bit bitter about it. I'm not. I realized this many years ago that Magic is a player's game, and as long as I treat it like that, I'm not going to be ripped off. Here is the decline of uh, Shardless Agent. Um, obviously, the deck fell out of favor. It used to be a very good legacy deck. I don't know what happened to it. This is the trend that you typically see a promos now. You don't see the trend up anymore. Because promos have to be non reserve list cards. Therefore, there's no reason to collect them. If you're interested in the price going up. Because even a reprint. Um, I, I've showed you multiple promos with multiple reprints. And there's, no, there's not much you can do. The artwork is not going to help. The what type of promo is it a judge? Is it a champion? Is it a full art promo? Vaguely helps, but from the initial price from five years ago, like Niz Mizzet champion full art Niz Mizzet, which was a highly demanded card just a few years ago, man, none of uh, the collectability of this card game, has, especially for cards not on the reserve list again, not on the reserve list, is. Pretty much nearing zero. Anyway, bye guys.